What's going on guys? Welcome to another Bloxing tutorial. I am your host John and today we'll be showing you how to set up Bloxing for the very first time in only a few minutes. Let's link it up. Yeah, yeah. Time to link it up. Here is where it's going down. Connect your Discord to your Roblox account to my server owners. Getting started with the bot, you of course have to invite it to your Discord server. Now, there are a few ways you can do this such as inviting it from our website. So first, go to blocks.link and on the top of the page you'll see add to your Discord server. From there, select the server you want to invite the bot to from the list, scroll down, and then press authorize. It is important that you keep every permission checked so our bot works properly. The other way you can invite the bot is from the direct link blocks.link slash invite. From that page, it is the same process of adding it to your Discord server. Now that you have the bot, what should you do? The best command to first run is the setup command. Once you run the command, head to your DMs with the bot. The very first prompt is to simply make sure the bot has the proper permissions. Since we just invited it, we can just say next. The next prompt asks if we want to link a group. If you don't need to, just skip this step. But if you do, you will need your group ID. You might be asking, John, how do I get this group ID? Well, let me tell you. In fact, let me show you. First, head to your group page and look at the top of the page where the URL bar is. Do you see that link? You can either copy and paste it or look at these numbers here. That's your group ID. You can either use the group ID and type it in or just copy the link. Following that, we're asked if we want to change the role given to people who verify. By default, it is named verified. If you want another role to be given, just say the name here. Or if you don't want a role to be given, you can just say disable. I want to keep the default, so I'm just going to say skip. After that, we're prompted for some website called Trello. I don't think we need to cover that in this Bloxing certified tutorial, so we'll just get that stuff for today. Almost there, guys. By the way, this prompt only shows when you add a group ID. If you did not set a group ID, ignore the step and the next one too. So this prompt is talking about a nickname template, but this is for group member, not for verified members. That's important to know. Anyways, this template is what is used to set the nickname for people. If you want it to set to a Roblox name, do Roblox name the way I type it in the video. If you want another combination such as group rank and name, type it out like I do in the video exactly with the brackets and hyphen. Make sure it looks exactly how it does in the prompt. It is very case sensitive. There are so many things you can do with this and you just have to experiment to get what you want. If you don't want anything special though, you can just skip this step. For now, I'll just leave it as Roblox name. I can always change it later. Last prompt before confirmation. Like the last one, this one only shows if you want to link a group to your server, the one you chose back at prompt 2. This one will tell the bot how to add your group roles to your server. Alright, so let's start with Merge. Merge will have the bot add new roles to the Discord server with the same name as the Roblox group rank names. They must match 100% for this bind method to work. The replace option will remove all the roles it can in the server and add brand new ones. Do not don't use this option if you already have roles. I mean, unless you really want to, but it'll remove all your roles. And then there's the skip option, which will leave your roles untouched. And then that's it. Make sure everything is set up correctly, everything's to your liking, and that's it for the setup command. Now we can go to the server and see our setup with settings view and view binds, as well as see all the roles the bot made. A key point, since we're looking at the roles, always make sure the blocksing role is above all other roles in the server. If it is not, it will not be able to give roles or nickname people other than you as the server owner. But what if you want people to get a nickname when they verify? That's what the nickname command is for. Using this, you can set the overall nickname template, one that will be given to everyone when they verify. Simply run the nickname command, say next, and then it will ask you for the template you want. For example, you can say Roblox name with the brackets, and then when people verify, their nickname will be set to their Roblox username. Whoa, whoa, but, but John, what if I want it so only verified people can chat? Well, I'm glad you asked. The easiest way is to use the verified channel command and see the sample channel it makes. The permissions in that channel is what you need to set. So for every channel you want verified people to chat in, adjust the permissions so that the everyone role cannot read the channel and set the verified role so they can read the channel. And that's it. That's all you need. And last but not least, here's some questions that you may have. Well, you might be wondering, how do I make sure I link the right group? Well, from the setup process, there are two ways. One is to make sure the right group ID was stated at the very end of the process, but also with the view binds command. Under the linked group section, the group should be listed there and you can make sure that it's the right one. Whoa, 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 but, but it's the wrong group. 
Don't worry, slow down. In that case, you can just run the del bind command and save the group ID you saw in the view bind prompt. Then say why since it's linked as a main group, and that's it. The wrong group has been removed. And that is all for our Bloxing Certified Setup video. Stay tuned for our next video showing you how to link multiple groups to your server. Thanks for watching, be sure to smack that like button and subscribe for more content like this in the future.